Hi guys, it's Hanya here and today I'm gonna show you how to make tennis ball cookies. This is a fun tutorial and let's jump right into it. First I'm going to make the fuzz that's on the tennis ball and actually it's not called fuzz. I just googled it and it's called nap. So to make the nap, which is really important because it affects uh, how um, the ball is uh, turning and it also affects the speed and all that. So it's really important that we have it on the cookie. So to make the fuzz, or sorry, the nap, I'm using granulated sugar along with some food coloring. I'm using electric green and electric yellow food colors. And um, in my blender, look at this color, I love it. I'm just going to pulverize it. You can also use a small chopper if you have one. Basically, you are making um, powdered sugar, but it doesn't have to have the consist consistency, the smoothness of the powdered sugar. If it's a little chunkier, it's fine. Now, I'm going to also bake it. The reason I'm baking it, I introduced liquid to uh, sugar, so I wanted to make sure that I remove any kind of moisture from there before I add it onto the cookie. So I'm going to bake it at very low, very low temperature, the lowest setting you have in your oven. It's fine. And then just the bake it for about 20 minutes or so. Now another step that I almost didn't do was sifting. This is really important that you sift it because I ended up finding um, pieces that wouldn't go through my sieve. And um, so I tossed this into the trash. And now the fuzz, um, the nap. I don't think I'll get used to the nap. Um, terminology when it comes to the fuzz on a tennis ball we can put it in a bowl now I'm using round cookies obviously for the tennis ball and I made a template for the for the slits and here I'm just going to pipe a thin layer of real icing I'm sorry spread a thin layer of real icing on there and then we're gonna let it dry And for all the recipes, you can find them on my blog, hanielas.com. Links are in the description box under the video. I also have a template shop where you can shop for all the templates. I have all the sports ball templates in there and a link to the shop is also listed in the description box. Now I'm using a scribe tool, tracing the slit shape shapes onto the icing. And now I'm using 15 second consistency royal icing. I also used yellow electric food coloring and green electric green food coloring to color my royal icing with this beautiful color. And I'm going to outline and flood the sections, avoiding the slits. Use a scribe tool to distribute the icing while it's still wet and then continue adding this end section. And after ice, after you ice the cookie, you need to let it dry completely. So let it dry overnight, place it on a flat tray and um, let it air dry. Now once it's air dried, use the same icing you use to ice the cookies and spread a thin layer of this icing onto the dry top, la top layer. You don't want to add too much icing so you can easily remove the residue by wiping the bristles into a clean dry paper towel. And now I'm going to take our fuzz that we made earlier and pour it over the cookie. Now shake it out, shake off the excess. And look at that. Doesn't it look cool? It looks just like the fuzz on a tennis ball. 
I was really really happy how these cookies turned out and I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Let me know if you try this uh, technique on creating fuzz or nap on tennis ball cookies. You can share your pictures with me. I'd love to see what you guys create. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.